I am a worldwide IMG model and a computer scientist. My technical background shapes the way in which I see the world, including the world of fashion as a model. This technical lens has enabled me to recognize an enormous opportunity for innovation within creative spaces, sitting untapped at the intersection of creativity and technology. Picture this. It's my first official job as a model after my Fashion Week debut. I'm meeting with one of the top designers in the world to model various garments as he crafts the design for his upcoming collection. When I arrive, the showroom is packed with garments to pull from, materials to glue and sew on me in real time, and lots of mood boards for inspiration. I put on the first outfit. The designer starts by saying, I like it, but it's a bit boring. Let's find something just like that, but a bit louder. 10 changes later, we finally find something with the perfect balance of simplicity and extravagance. Now, the color is all wrong. I guess the team can just use their imagination. Still, there's something that's not quite right. The outfit gets scrapped, and we go down our next rabbit hole. So much time wasted. And even worse, every step of the process posed a barrier between the designer and his ability to bring his ideas to life. Now. Picture this, um, a bit more extravagant. Okay, that works. Um, now let's add some color. Okay, that, that's good. Something's still not quite right. Just give me some ideas. Okay, I see something that I like there. Yes, that's the vision. All of these images and iterations were powered by AI. Not only did that save the human designer time, but it removed barriers between the designer and his ability to create in every step of the process. Life has been augmented by technology since the dawn of time. So why does this particular technical application feel so revolutionary? Until recently, technology has aided in the creative process in the execution of already solidified ideas. And that makes sense because you can't collaborate with a calculator. Today, AI has human-like capabilities that enables it to extend beyond the role of a subordinate executioner. For instance, fashion sketches and designs have been digitized for decades. And AI can help in that process as well, but the key revolutionary difference is that AI can actually contribute novel creative ideas rather than just mindlessly executing. Let's look at the creative process today. We have a great idea. We use the tools that we have to convert that idea into a masterpiece. The reality, time gets in the way. Lack of training gets in the way. Lack of expertise gets in the way. The idea, the full potential of the idea, gets smaller and smaller and smaller until finally it's abandoned altogether. But some ideas do come to fruition, though. Imagine how dull the world would look if we didn't have the existing tools that we do at our disposal to create. Without the paintbrush, we wouldn't have the Mona Lisa. Without the electric guitar, we wouldn't have rock and roll. But now let's, let's see the creative process if AI was infused and accessible to every creator. So many barriers removed. The masterpiece is back, bigger and better than ever, thanks to AI collaborating alongside the human from the very beginning of the creative process in the ideation phase. Now, imagine what the world could look like if we leveled up the creative tools at our disposal with AI from that of an executioner in our hand to a creative collaborator for our brain. A world where AI is accessible to every person, to every creator, technical or not. 
We will be empowering every person to engage with the world as their canvas, equipped with a creative collaborator by their side to capture ideas and bring them to life together. Infusing AI into the genesis of the creative process merges humanity's two greatest assets, our creative minds and our ability to arm ourselves with tools. If the computer was the bicycle of the mind, then AI will be the rocket ship. This AI tech already exists, so what's pre preventing its mass adoption? Through conversations with my makeup artist backstage at the Louis Vuitton show, chatting with stylists at Vogue's headquarters, talking with other models as we travel between cities and Ubers and airports, I've discovered that the creative community's curiosity and eagerness to leverage these innovative technologies is incredibly prominent, but so is their failure to act on that curiosity. Why? Fashion doesn't speak tech, and unfamiliarity hinders adoption. As a model and an engineer, I speak the language of both fashion and tech. And that's enabled me to communicate technical concepts traditionally seen as complex black boxes in a format that is digestible to the fashion audience. I have witnessed a light bulb moment occur time and time again as I deliver these complex technologies to people while I'm working as a model backstage and during photo shoots and the intimidating uh, perception of complexity surrounding these technologies are lifted. Suddenly, a burst of ideas are unleashed. AI-generated modeling poses, digitized set design, virtual hairstyling. The possibilities are endless. But these ideas are not coming from crypto bros or software gurus. It's only when the technology reaches the hands of the creatives themselves is the full potential of these technical applications unleashed. But how can we facilitate this burst of ideas on a scale that's greater than one makeup chair that I find myself in at a time? We need to speak the language of fashion and simply introduce AI as a new word within it. Hi, my name is Ari. I'm a digital fashion icon represented by IMG Models. I created Ari to deliver AI through a familiar vessel to the fashion world. Ari meets fashion on their turf, populating social platforms as an influencer, a form of content that they already engage with in virtual environments where they already spend time. Ari puts a friendly, humanized face to what would otherwise be seen as complex, intimidating technology. It's the same reason that Siri is called Siri and not a chatbot. Humans respond to humans, fashion responds to fashion. Accessibility comes from meeting the human where they already exist. Hey Ari, give me a fashion insight. The popularity of quiet luxury has grown enormously according to a 1,230% increase of Google searches on the topic. However, runway data shows that logos have grown 7% in popularity this season. Interesting. <laughs> Ari is the familiar vessel delivering AI to the fashion world. The infinite potential for AI to, to enhance industries extends beyond fashion. Take religion, for example. Every person engages with their spirituality through the lens of their personal perspective. We seek external sources like family and friends, religious texts and leaders to expand the boundaries of that single human perspective. That enables us to engage with our spirituality on a deeper level. AI provides a totally novel point of view, shaped by data rather than personal experience or identity. And so it isn't tainted by human constructs or mentality in the same way that we are. 
As a technologist and a Jew, I sought to deepen my spirituality by learning from AI. So I created a Jewish AI called Robo Rabbi. I exposed it to Jewish texts and values. And then I asked Robo Rabbi what it learned from the literature. Robo Rabbi extracts meaning from Judaism in a way that is very different to how I or any other human does. And that unique perspective gave me an additional layer of understanding to engage with and interpret my own faith on a deeper level. AI has the power to unleash uh, creativity in all industries by adding an additional layer of understanding to every facet of life. But because of technology's wide-scale inaccessibility today, that potential has gone largely unrealized. But what makes this technology so inaccessible in the first place? Check out this photo of an AI hackathon I was at just last week. The answer is basically screaming at us in this photo. <laughs> we need more diversity in tech. If every person creates through the lens of their single human perspective that's shaped by their identity and their experiences, then surely our technology will not be built equitably for the entire population until the entire population is equally represented in building it. But how do we let the kid flunking math and acing art know that they not only have a seat at the table in building the innovative technologies of the future, but that the world of technology is actually important and has value to the world of art that they care so deeply about. Delivering complex technology to a mass audience feels like an impossible feat, just short of jamming the entire world into an intro to computer science lecture hall. But the answer is simple, prioritizing people over technology. The most cutting edge, innovative technologies is not what drives culture. An accessible delivery of existing technologies does. If we were able to package our existing technologies in the language of artists, teachers, architects, chefs, fashion designers, we would be unleashing the floodgates of innovation. A year and a half ago, I created Robo Rabbi. I used GPT technology, and people were a bit dumbfounded by the tech. Today, there are over 100 million change agents that are leveraging that same exact technology for their personal and professional use cases. All thanks to a simple change and update to the user interface. Today, I created Ari to revolutionize the fashion industry by providing an accessible entry point into the world of AI. I hope that in the near future, I won't be an anomaly as someone that speaks tech and fashion. And that won't come from more people learning to speak tech. That will come from rewriting and translating the language of technology itself into the language of human beings. It starts with one. One person who can lead their community into the future with AI. One person who is brave enough to let their imagination run wild and driven enough to actualize their ideas into reality. Right now, there is a kid who is cutting and sewing their first fashion collection. When that kid sees Ari, they will know that they are important and invited into the AI revolution. How can you empower your community with AI? I challenge you to step outside of your comfort zone and be your industry's leader into the world of AI. Start with one AI tool and see where it takes you. Thank you.